Hello my friends and welcome to Mobile Monday Fun Day. So this game is uh, its actually quite unique to be honest. I guess the best way to explain it is it's sort of similar to Fire Emblem. Uh, I, I wasn't a big fan of Fire Emblem Heroes and I, just, I was trying to find another good game that I could spend a lot of time playing. And this is one that's seemingly looking pretty darn good. Of course this is a sponsored video though so if you guys want to download through the sponsored link below make sure you use that. It's going to help me out a bunch. So, uh, what we're doing right now is I'm, of course, trying to... I'm in the midst of battle over here. I'm trying to trying to kill all these wolves and all these monsters right now. This is actually part of the, the main adventure right now. I might show some of you guys uh, some of the more interesting story-based gameplay modes pretty soon as well. Uh, you know, I think you guys have seen some similar games like this uh, in, in the past. Um, oh, dude, this guy's range is ridiculous. I just unlocked this guy, so I guess I, guess I can keep him kind of uh, further away since he's such a ridiculous mage. All right, let's see how much damage he does. Oh, he's not that strong. He's not as good as I thought he was going to be. Let's use my special attack, though. Kill this stupid wolf over here. Falling arrows. These guys are actually pretty darn, darn strong, though. Let's use uh, a different ability. Let's uh, get our focus strike ready for the next uh, next round over here. So everything's going to become even better. And I can hopefully kill this wolf. Oh, she is dead. So that one's dead already. Now, this one has got to die on this turn, guys. Just wail on... Whoa, dude, we're so strong! That guy is so strong! Oh my gosh. So obviously, I'm still getting hang of the game a little bit. Um, overall, this game looks freaking beautiful, though. Uh, that's probably my favorite part about the game. Just every single thing about the art design, is just, it just looks good. You know, I just I like playing the game, of course, for the story and the gameplay, but also because of uh, just the, the prettiness of it. So, the only thing, there's a couple things I don't like about this game, though. There's, like, they've already asked me to review the game, like, three times, and every single time I, I, I ooh, we got a little cat over here. Would you look at that? Nice three-star cat. Okay. And, um, they always ask people to be my friends, and I'm just like, I just want to play the freaking game by myself, dude. I don't need billions of friends to want to play this game. So, um, also what I've got is i got a bunch of, oh, man, this guy, I really like him. I think I'm going to actually get rid of this guy just so I can have him back on my team, just because he's so freaking goofy. He's a goofy. I call him Doggo. He's the he's the goofiest little. So there's like a bunch of little guys that I can use over here. Um, again, really co really cool looking art and everything. A um, bunch of different monsters I can use. But overall, this guy he just looks the most goofy and the most fun. Like everybody is like sort of uh, like hardcore attackalish. He's like I'm the beefiest big wolf monster thing, my bobs. Like oh my god, dude, we got freaking bears that we got to fight against. Bears, and it looks like some uh, new spiders. Not just one type of spider, there's multiple types of spiders. I've got a poison spider, or a leafy spider, and a fire spider. So, um, this guy also attacks with light damage. So it doesn't really matter what he attacks with. But it's also kind of interesting because you don't do a double attack. Like, uh, normally when you attack people, in most games that are similar to this, you, uh, you know, let's use our special ability. Trumble him! Yes. He's still not that strong, but... He's aight. He's aight, man. I'm going to bow this bear. I'm going to try and take down the bear before anything else. Let's see. Can I do a three shot? Let's see. Now we're going to attack the bear, man. We'll do our mega shot. Super mega shot. Stormwind arrow. Um. And I don't think I'm going to be able to kill this bear just yet. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, it's weird because normally normally what you got to do is... um. No, I said, I said wait. I said wait it out, dude. Wait it out. Uh, normally they, they counter-attack you, but in this game they don't counter-attack you, which is counterintuitive. It's like you're just, you just attack them. Why would they not attack you back? But it does add to the strategy a little bit. And look, every single game that I've played like that goes that way. You have, they get a counter-attack. So it is, he's going to end up beefying up a little bit, so we can hopefully uh, do more damage in the next turn. But we're going to kill him before that happens. So that bear just did something sort of stupid, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna kill him. So like, like I said, you can actually have your archer just walk next to them and just shoot them. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's kind of weird. Uh, and the reason why I went up there instead of uh, staying so uh, low is because another unique um, aspect of this game is the fact that you, you kind of have to uh, play the heights of the level. Something I've never had to do in almost any game ever. Uh, at least recently that I've played, is that you have to play the heights. And for archers, uh, the higher you are, the more damage you do, basically. And the higher your enemy is, the worse off you are. So you got to get the high ground if you're an archer. So let's surround this guy, surround this little spider right here. We're going to use our other special move. Um, I don't even know what it does. Torment Soul, let's see. Suck his soul off. And we got rid of some of his attack. So let's finish off this stupid spider right here. Bam, Shazam. Ain't got nothing on us. 
And we're, of course, going to take this nice little lever. Do we get three stars? No, only two stars, dude. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad, man. All right, so yeah, they're, they're giving us all these battle tips and whatnot. So anyways, before we go any further, I'm actually going to go back over here. Um, I've been playing adventure mode so far, and I'm almost up through the uh, the first part of, it, of uh, the adventure. But what I want to do is I actually want to go back over here. I want to show you guys the story mode. So I thought this was actually some of the cooler uh, you know, parts of the game. Um, this first one is... Uh, what's his name? A Avon? Avon Son. And... Uh, we can get a four-star person if we do end up beating this guy. So let's see if we can uh, manage it. They are pretty darn tough, though. I think I have to switch Doggo out. I gotta switch Doggo out for this guy, cause just because he is four stars, he's gonna be better. It's sad that that all games always do that. They make people um, almost solely rated on their star level. Like if you have a three-star guy, um, he's not gonna be as good as a four-star guy, almost no matter what. So here's the story aspect of the game. If you want to, you can read through and watch the entire story, or they could auto it for you, where you just have it kind of go and play through as long as you're willing to read just a little bit. We learned all about it. Um, or you could skip it if you don't want to hear it at all. Really, I can't remember. And now she's all angry. Like, what? I'll tell you, so pay attention. Before the Great War, there were lots of humans living in Storm God. Storm God. Should I do, like, some voices? Let's do some voices. Humans? Yes, and the alliance was formed between Stormguard and the Elvens. Then the Death Guard invaded Stormguard. They used it as a base to attack the Elvens. I see. It doesn't look like there was a battle here. That's because everyone fled before the Death Guard arrived. The Stormguard and Elven armies were away at Lollin Hill then. Those who remained in Stormguard knew they couldn't defend the city. So that's why the city looks untouched. I'm a terrible voice actor. I should never be a voice actor. Though, I was really thinking about being a voice actor for Spyro, by the way. I was thinking about it, man. They're making some, uh, like a fan-made uh, uh, redo of Spyro, and I was thinking that would be really freaking cool to do. Anyways, so yeah, uh, it depends if you're more interested in story-based stuff or if you're not. Personally, I don't care about the story as much as some other people probably do, so that's something you should just note. If you're big on story and you like to watch the game, um, kind of... Uh, Kind of see the game unfold among, you know, between your eyes here, this is going to be great for you. Um, another thing that I actually did not like about the game was that after I downloaded the game, it, it took like 30 minutes before I could even play because there was a huge 600, 750 megabyte download. And I was like, what? Are you kidding me? Alright, so these guys are really freaking high up there. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to pop my archer um, over here. Ah, poo. I don't want to do that. Let's just move her over here, I guess. But I don't want to attack him. I want, why won't it let me attack him? It doesn't really sh say that... Okay, whatever. That's fine. I'll destroy you in one freaking fall swoop right here. With a falling arrow. No, he's really strong. Holy crap. He's really strong. He's my special move on this guy. I gotta take him down fast. I might not be able to kill these guys. They seem really freaking strong. So use my special move on him. Only 89 damage again. Um... See, I'm just going to do... You know what? Let's use my special attack again. Three special attacks in a row, dude. I'm down. Triple slash. And that does some pretty solid damage. 150 damage total. Now, we're going to start pushing up over here um, with this guy. I'm going to do my triple slash as well. This guy is a little bit stronger. 114 damage per shot. Or the other guy is just weaker. But now, you're, they're, they're showing you that uh, some of your guys, they might just be so slow that the enemy gets to play before your team gets to play. So it's not fully... Uh, uh, based on only the speed of um, one per, it's based on speed of one person, not your entire team together. All right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna randomly attack somebody, just do some measly little damage. He just sucks, man. I don't know why. So we gotta use a regular basis ta basic attack on this guy, but he still got a ton of health. <clears throat> and finally, you know what? Let's do it like this. Let's actually pop our archer up here. And I can. I can reach him. Nice. I'm going to use my special attack. Get ready for it for the next turn. I'm going to get up in the high ground. I'm going to do some mega damage on him. And we'll finish this guy off with our last little strike right here. So, bam, we knocked him off the frickin' side. Nice. All right. Now, this guy's getting hurt pretty bad over here. This, uh, this could be bad. He might die. That might lead us to not, be, not getting three stars. But that's okay. 
So there we go. He's going to arch me again. 63 damage. Actually, not too bad. So we're going to go all the way up the top here. And we're going to do a nice basic attack. Watch this shiznit, guys. Look at the damage now. 130. Nice. They're still coming down on me. Coming down on me hard. But with my archers, again, you got to try and get to the high ground as much as possible. Whatever you got. It looks like we're going to be able to clean him up with one last fall swoop right here. Whoop! 46 whopping damage. And move everybody closer. Okay. So because they don't get a counterattack, it really doesn't matter. Just keep on attacking, dude. Unload on their faces. But now, sadly, we got to get closer. I think, you know what? You know what? We might be able to reach him from here. Let's see. Yes, we can. Perfect. Wonderful. Extra damage. 138 again. And this chick as well, man. Hold. Why can't I move that way? Really? It's going to take that far? Oh, my gosh. All right. So I guess we're just going to go down here. We'll get our uh, nice little shot right here. Explosive arrow. And we do a ton of damage, but it does not kill him. Oh, it was tight, man. It was a tight battle right there. And he's going to almost take my last guy down. And we will not allow it, hopefully. No, it's not. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Kind of blocked the road right here. Let's use, uh... Let's see. I have not used this guy's special moves yet, so let's see if this works. Oh, it doesn't even work. Oh, man, really? Oh, crap. Okay, so we gotta go over here. And then... This seems like a move that would do a lot of damage to a lot of people, but is not really that good for just one enemy. So it's 57 damage to everybody in that range. That's actually pretty reasonably solid right there. That's a good move. And we get a nice little book right there. We're going to unlock something good, I think. That looks like a good book. Come on, give me that good book. So after we take all these monstrosities down... Oh, is there going to be another person here? Oh, gosh. Uh-oh, there are more reptilians heading our way. Run. We should leave. Yeah, right? Instead of just being like, we, gotta, we should probably leave. You know, We'll just be chill about it. No big deal, reptilians coming our way. Gotta probably eat us. Here he is. The Mega Mage. It can't be. It can't be. It could be. Aaron Dillson. Oh, this guy's name is Question Mark. Oh, he's really that secretive. Yes. Come with me. Dude, what's going to happen over here? What is he going to give me? Is it going to be something real good? Or something stupid? This must be who we were sent, right? I think so. I understand why Sir Arendelle said that we uh, said that we'd know. But I didn't expect to find us first. Interesting. Aha! I'd have known if it was him anyway. Didn't you just ask me if that was him? See, I, I'm a bad voice actor, guys. I can't do it. Especially when it's on auto and stuff. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's get him. We're going to skip the rest of this stuff. Uh, we get three stars, baby. Nice. And we get the Devin, Dev, Devnin, Devnia, Devnia officer. So, ooh, we get another reward. Quest rewards into our box. So, um, we don't get to summon them yet. Okay, so I was, I was thinking maybe we'd be able to summon the free person uh, right now, but that looks like it's not going to happen. Anyways, like I said, the story is pretty fun, the adventure is pretty fun. Overall, I'm having a pretty good time with it, and obviously if you guys are enjoying uh, the gameplay and you want to check it out for yourself, use the sponsor link in the description down there. It uh, it really does help me out and hook me up. So, um, let me know how you guys are enjoying it. You know, I, you know, if you guys want to be my friends and whatnot, I would totally be down. You know, I haven't even actually uh, added any friends yet, so uh, maybe we can maybe we can be some be, be together. Be oh here we. Get them all. Give me my gold, baby. Give me that gold. Where all the gold at? But yeah, I'd like to be friends with you guys down here as well. So if you want to, come on, come on by, and we'll uh, we'll hang out. Thanks for watching, and have a super duper delicious day.